hey y'all so it's another day and i'm like dragging my foot i came down early well not too early before the kids are up good um wash and set my seamosses so i could wash and set my seamosses to soak i ordered some seamosses from the Sea Moss Empire on Instagram. And I'm gonna do a full video on this. Foliated and wash my face. I'm not even showing my face look like this right now. I look like I didn't even brush my teeth, but I did. I look so crusty. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> to get it popping with this sea moss sea moss isn't new to me i've had it on many occasions it's a part of the strength no weakness culture in jamaica and that's where i'm from growing up um i would indulge in irish moss and it's a drink i don't know if they have it like all over the caribbean but i wasn't aware of the benefits until as of lately so with all the amazing benefits i decided to make it this a lifestyle I plan to use the sea moss on my skin and I'll be using it in my skin and bath time routine and of course I'll be looking for like creative ways to indulge in it. Um, so some of the benefits are these I found online of course and of course I would rather you guys research this for yourself and not take my word for it. Some of the benefits that I see are it can help to improve your thyroid function, it may help to improve your energy level. It'll boost your immunity, it may nourish your skin, it can improve your emotional health, and it may help you indigest your food. So guys, like I said before, definitely, definitely, definitely research this on your own before you get into it and make it a lifestyle as well. So sea moss is from the ocean. It has a lot of salt, so you would have to wash it, wash it, wash it, and wash it some more so and then after you wash it you want to soak it for 12 to 24 hours the next day all right y'all so now i'm about to i know you guys saw me prep and wash my sea moss yesterday oh gosh what am i doing and now I'm about to um, I'm about to turn it into the gel form, and I'm gonna make Irish moss with some of it. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is it fresh out of the refrigerator. So I don't really know how much water to use. It doesn't look slimy. I thought it was gonna be slimy. I don't know. This is my first time making it. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm gonna use I guess I'm gonna use two bottles of water <clears throat> because I'm not turning all of this into Irish moss see I'm so blind okay whatever all right so I'm gonna start with one bottle So I got, I don't know when it got four of these from the dollar store. I'm about to transfer some in and save some to make the Irish.
Now, I'm going to make my Irish moss with the rest that's in there. And there's probably like maybe three big spoonfuls or two. There's probably like two big spoonfuls in there. So, I'm going to add some flaxseed. My first time making it, so I'm just using my good, good judgment. I think I have one that's already open. Don't really need that much. And then, with some good milk. I'm gonna need some almond milk. And I'm just using good judgment here. Using my pure vanilla extract and some nutmeg. Oh, my cinnamon. I forgot the cinnamon. Ground cinnamon. Focus. The Irish moss came out really good. I learned that using less of the gel and adding more as needed is definitely a plus. I also froze the gel and made Mickey Mouse head forms. Don't judge me. Judge your mama. Just kidding. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification. Thank you.